My comment was going to was going to be right along those lines, and I'll just I'll follow up on Rob's. I think one of the most important um, sentences that journalists have written about this problem was Michael Pollan in the New York Times Magazine. The beginning of his article was, "Have you looked in the eyes of a climate scientist recently? They're huh? really scared." And really? I think that the bridge, what you said, Susan, about um, uh, the scientists stick to the facts and they throw it over the transom. I don't think that works. And I think that's why the IPCC has been had limited success, because that's exactly what they do in the exact ethic that they have about it, and it's a very strong cultural bend. We need to do something else, and I think what we need to do is something that has to do with how we feel about and our own fears and transmitting our own fears or communicating our own fears about what we know, that we're scared, that climate scientists are scared. And, and that I just wanted to say that I think that's the bridge between your two points of view. If I could just quick thing, which is um, scientists uh, being part of the story is good, <laughs> but others need to be a part of the story. And we need other, like our, the evangelical leaders who spoke out in the Evangelical Climate Initiative. And, but we need Jim Rogers and other business people uh, talking about this. Uh, we need Jim Woolsey and uh, General Chuck Wald and uh, I tell you, if, if I would love to have many, many more generals and admirals talking about this. So we need lots of voices now. We can't just, the scientists have been doing their job uh, in the sense of uh, they've alerted us to it. They're giving us the facts. And now w the rest of us need to get in there and start pitching. And policy wonks too, right, Jason? <laughs> there, there are a couple, of pretty, a couple of pretty easy little political questions you gotta solve and you can pass a bill. Yeah. Can I add just one little simple uh, visual. If uh, CO2 were purple, everybody would S-less. So think about that and figure out how to make it look purple. 